Beginning maracas. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to have beginning maracas. Yes. Awesome. So welcome back to Joey Johnson's book review. There's like months and months and months uh, in the gap between these episodes. Yeah, we haven't been doing a very good job of keeping up on our episodes. Yeah. But we're here now. Got new guests. The monkeys. Yeah, these are some special monkeys, right? Yeah, because they are have are very, very old when my dad was like my age. Even younger. Yeah, younger than me. <laughs> yeah. And and he played with them and they were and they he found them stuck in the attic for the rest of his life. Well, until we rescued them, right? Yep. So, they're here to help us with our book review. Yep. We got Sam, George, and Frank. Yeah, and... Duck. <laughs> Hiding Duck. Duck likes the books today because yeah. there's a character in it whose name is... <laughs> so, but he's the one who caused mischief all the time. Just like Duck. Just so, like your son, Duck. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes he's like crawling around saying crack. Well, maybe we should get started with the book then today, huh? Right. Okay. And today's book is... Click, clack, moo, cow that type. Bye. Doreen Colin. Cronin. Cronin, yeah. Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. And this is a special book for another reason, right? Autograph. By the author, Doreen Cronin. Yeah. We met her at the Western New York uh, Children's Book Expo last year. Yeah. We, it also has a also has a Calicut honor. It's a Calicut honor book. It has a medal. But my other but my other copy, copy doesn't have the medal. But I say it's still like a Calicut honor book. Yes. We actually have several other books of the same series. And more, more over in the bookshelf, too. These are the ones we grabbed. Yeah. Those are so. the only ones I could find on the bookshelf. But it's a good series. You really yeah. like it, right? All right, let's get started then. You ready? Check. All right. I don't want to be the one on the screen. You should be. Ready? Click, clack, moo. Cow that tight. Hmm. I just read... All these books <laughs> just did, and also t both of the copies. Scratch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack. Ooh, <laughs> angry. <laughs> At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Count that type? Impossible. Twit clack, moo. Twit clack, moo. Twit clack, moo. <laughs> <laughs> then he couldn't believe his eyes. They're far around them. Farm is very cold at night. We like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Ah! Oh. It was bad enough that the cows found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they want some electric blanket. No way, said Farmer around. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. 
Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. <laughs> no milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background here, heard the cows a busy hour. I'm so itchy today. Hmm. Yeah, allergens are out in the air. Yep. But let's keep going, okay? All right, are we done with that page? Did we finish? I didn't no. Know. Okay, keep going. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Is that the end? The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like them in electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows are growing impatient with, with the farmer. They left a new note on the door. Clothes, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety clack. Yeah. I think for today. Clickety clack. For the first time I did. Yep, you did good. You're doing fine. Keep going. Thanks. What was that beep? I don't know. You must be so worried. Okay, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Cow that type, hens on strife. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a, run a farm with no milk and no weight? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. <laughs> I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farm and Farmer Brown. That was another beep. <laughs> That was a neutral party, so we brought the ultimatum. Ultimatum. Ultimatum to the cows. The cows had a, held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but no one, none of them could understand the moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Another beep. Dad knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Quack. What does the note say, buddy? Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside our barn, the barn door, and we will send that over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Dot to come with the typewriter. <laughs> the next morning he draw a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We like, we like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. <clears throat> Click, diddy, clack, quack. <clears throat> Bad Siri. Sorry, I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was weird. Siri just started talking for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Quack. Splash. That's the end, right?
Good. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about the book. Yes. What do you think of that book? I like it. What's your favorite part? My favorite part was when the was when Dot Wad did the diving board. Oh, right at the end when he stole the the typewriter. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you like that part? <laughs> Another beep. <laughs> so why did you like that part of the book? Uh. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, ducks with a diving board. Yeah. And you like ducks. Yeah, it's my favorite animal. So, awesome. You like the parts with duck. Duck was a little, he wasn't mischievous until the end. He was helping the farmer until the end, right? Yeah. Awesome. awesome. So, if you were to rate this book, one monkey being not a very good book and 10 monkeys being the best book ever, how many monkeys would you give this book? Eight monkeys. Eight monkeys? Yeah. Why Why eight? That's a good choice. I like it. Uh, oh. It's a fun book. And, and the dock at the end is very, very funny. But to me, it's like a little bit boring. Like in the middle? When yeah. they're sending the notes back and forth, you mean? Yeah. Oh, you want the action. Yeah. Mm. So, if you were to recommend this book, you said it's a good one and you like it. So who do you think would like it? Who else would like it? Uh... No, you can't say it. It's your review. You've got to be the one reviewing. <sighs> your name is in the title. Yep. It's a Joey Johnson book review. Yeah. So, who do you think would like this book? Who would you recommend it to? I would recommend it to... You think first graders would like this book? Kindergartners? Hmm, maybe. Second graders? Maybe. So definitely first graders? Do you think Amma likes this book? Your mom? Do you think you recommend it for uh, moms to read this book? Dads. Dads? Definitely a, a dad's book? Yeah. Okay. So, boys' books. Like dads and boy kids. Oh, you think so? Why? Yeah. It's a good one for them. Do you have a reason why or you just think that way? Think that way. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. So, do you have anything else you want to say about this book before we close up? Because we're at 13 minutes, so we should close up pretty quick. Right. Uh, yeah. I stayed up and... Ah, another beef. Well, do you want to finish up our podcast then? Uh, yes. Quack. Maybe we'll do more in this series later in another episode? Yeah. Sounds like a good idea to me. Bye. Bye.